Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about tuples in TypeScript. So, a tuple is essentially just a grouped set of values where you know how many values are inside that set and you also know what the data type is for each of those values. So, for example, if we have two variables here, x and y, these two variables are quite similar and most likely they're going to be used together within your code. Now we can actually group these together using a tuple. All right, so we'll get rid of that and we can define a new tuple up here. So we'll say let point. So we'll call this variable or this tuple point and point refers to an x, y coordinate. All right, equal to this 10 and 5 now here this looks like an array right we have obviously the square brackets and then two values actually it's not an array it's considered to be a tuple within TypeScript so behind the scenes this is being inferred as a tuple so if I put a colon here and then say number and then number that is a way to annotate that this variable is a tuple of number number all right so that's the declaration right there this means that this point can only have two values inside it and they both need to be of type number so to actually access one of these values you can use the same syntax as an array so we're actually going to say down here we're going to console.log the number five so we'll say log and then point at index 1 so we go 0 and then 1 if we log this out we'll save it run this program we should get 5 in the console there we are okay you can also actually um, you can change the value of one of these items here using the same syntax so we're going to say point and then at index 0 so we're going to access this 10 here we're going to say point 0 equals 25 if I log out point 0 real quickly here we should see 25 so point 0 25 all right now what if I actually try and change the value of this point to sorry of this point um, index 0 change it to a string so if I say, okay, Dominic, that does not work. This expects you to put in a number, you're giving it a string. So to fix this, you change this to string. All right, but now this doesn't work. That's no longer a string, right? So you can actually put something called any inside here. The any type lets you have any type inside there. That's just one of the, um, the basic TypeScript types. Alright, so that's a tuple. Now, you should use tuples where you, well, you know, not that you should, but it's a good practice to use tuples uh, in combination with a type alias. So here, this is a point because it's a number and then number, but we can use a type alias here to actually sort of make this code easier to read by instead of putting a tuple here, instead put point. Alright. So, up here, we're going to make a type alias. We're going to say type and then point equals that tuple. All right, so number and then number. All right, so now when I refer to point, I actually mean that tuple right there. And I think that's a good way to use tuples. Obviously, having it like this is a bit unclear to, you know, read. It's probably... Yeah, so I think the best way to do it is just, you know, have a type alias for your tuples. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.